Hello, everybody, all over the world. Hey, and welcome to High GPS 351 Team Synergies. This episode brought to you by me, pretty much. Be sure to join Steam Group Discord and check the homepage for Balance Mod News. Not that that much has happened when I've been on vacation, but regardless. So today we are looking at Team Synergies. Your task was to team up with someone and do team synergy stuff so the way team fortress 2 works is that the by design it's very easy to just do your own thing and then it just sort of clicks with the team and then you just kind of go on and do your thing and you win but the, this episode was a bit to look uh, a bit more specific a bit more like what crazy stuff can you do and what non-crazy stuff can you not do so what I didn't want to see was like a whole lot of medic because medic is basically just a team synergized class. You latch onto someone and then you heal them and then you right click at some point and then you are unstoppable for like eight seconds. Uh, but that's not what we're going to look at today. Today we're going to look at something else. So we're also going to do something similar for our next episode as well and I will get to that later. So this is from the balance mod session. As you can see, the screen is as black as my soul. But now we have visual, will we? Yes, there we go. So this is Cerberus, the guy I will be doing this. I'm just gonna fast forward a little bit here. And uh, going forward. So the way I did it is that like I see, I saw Cerberus there, all right? So I'm gonna do my best to buff him the best way possible. So I can just stand behind him and buff him. So he's like my uh, my teammate target. I'm the one I'll be paying attention to what he's doing and I'll be aiding him whatever he does. I'm gonna whip him. That's something you can do as a soldier. Just whip, 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 whip. And then I go forward for a little attack and then I go back. I also have the conch, which is gonna assist him in making him even faster. So I whip him once again, just kind of buffing him. There you go. And then he peeks around and gets uh, killed. And now I have no one to buff. And then we have an Uber. Went forward here, trying to kill somebody. Medic's on me with the bone saw. Uber is popped. But so far I have really no one to buff. And then I die before I get to use it, so. Hmm. And E-Defeat is open. E-Defeat is a guy we're gonna be seeing a lot of in this episode. So that is basically the gist of what I wanted. You just see someone and be like, I'm gonna help that guy and assist him in whatever way I can. Um, so let's move on to the next one. So this is actually one of the more clever things I have ever seen. And I've seen a lot of clever stuff. Not more than stupid stuff, but clever. So this is Rob San and Quartermaster, and he's gonna be doing something that I have never seen before. They're running double heavies. They're both using Stake and Natasha. And the way that they combine this is that the Natasha slows them down and then the other heavy catches up to them and kills them. That's the strategy. Right f fucking genius. It's like the main downside with having like a melee heavy like this is that people run away But now with the Natasha They don't so it's like a crazy strategy that might work And of course they have the killing blows of boxing to get the crits as well So we're just gonna fast forward a little bit to the next part where something happens yeah, So there we go So here we are and there's a heavy and they can't make the escape. Let's let's look at that again because I think I fast forwarded uh, too far. Uh, let's see, there we go, yes. So, I mean, is this more effective than just two heavies shooting miniguns? No, probably not. But it's fun and it's not bad. So here we have a Robson running in and this heavy tries to escape. And then he gets shot by the heavy that's behind us. Slow down. Oh, you're dead, son. The power of teamwork. Yes, teamwork. The crazy shenanigans. And the counter to trick stabs is to have a mouse sensitivity that allows you to properly track the spy. <laughs> I can't feel it here. Ah. Oh. What could Robson have done to have avoided getting trick stabbed? And the answer is to just run away from the spy because he was basically just circling around. Yes. 
Next up, we have Nurse. The famous Polish medic main who plays with us sometimes. And this is a teamwork that is not that easy to see, but we're going to be paying attention to how she plays with the spies, because spy is a very team-based class in the fact that if he's not, if he's the center of attention, he's useless, basically. So this is a bit of a longer one, so already here we can see that she's taking like the attention of that pyro, it dies. Of course, there's a sentry around there. As soon as it's sapped, just jumps out, does that. Would it be nice if the spy had looked both ways and dead. That's okay, we have another life coming up here. Just gonna fast forward to the place and we're gonna show something that is really cool. For those of you who play like RPGs where you have to like aggro or like taunt the enemy to get them to focus you and not your own so, teammate, this is the thing. So she's working with this buoyant guy, this other spy. So here, yeah, gets a couple of stabs, get some kills. Also note that the cart isn't moving, so I would have preferred pushing over this, but uh, what are you gonna do? And then, Just uh, hanging out in the spawn. This guy, this spy is gonna go over here, I guess. Chase him down, juggle him with one of the most obnoxious weapons in the game. And all right, here is a very good example of what I'm talking about. So we see that there's a bunch of heavies and look at this. We shoot at the heavy, he's on fire. What's the heavy gonna do? Well, he's obviously gonna get the pyro who shot him, right? And look at this spy behind. He's not spy checking. There's two pyros with flare guns. And we're just occupying the space, just being annoying. We also have health and gets the kills. So just in a position like this, just being like, hey, over here, Psh, light, I lit you on fire. I bet, I bet you want to shoot me, don't you? And then your friend, friend is like snorting like in the background. It's like, ho, 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 ho. So that is some very good uh, teamwork that you can do. Like if you do this, it's going to make your spies very happy. Or the spies might not even notice and be like, yeah, I'm just such a good spy. I get like all the backstabs when the enemies are too busy to check their backs because my teammates are being obnoxious. And that's really all that happens here. So that was just a good example of like being a bit creative and like playing with your team. So this could also happen just naturally. You're just standing there spamming and then you get the attention of your enemies and then your spies get some more elbow room to do what they want. But GPS, wouldn't it be better if there was like a sniper just shooting them from a distance? Yes, it would. <laughs> Most of the time, it would. But that's not the case. It looked cool. So this is Robson and the Quartermaster once again, submitting some, some stuff. So I guess this was like going to have resistances to everything except melee. So this is Robson on the Demo Knight and Quartermaster with his trusty vaccinator. Kills this guy, and then he... Why doesn't he jump away? I don't understand. Okay, he tries to jump away, and it's like, I'm gonna run away, but... Nope. Robson will have none of that. Then just... Hmm. Amazing team synergy here, where he just literally attacks, and the medic just heals him. So we're gonna go forward to the enemy base. Can charge forward. This soldier has not learned anything, I think. And then we have, ooh, the enemy spawn. We have tons of resistances, but we're dead. Woohoo. So the idea of Demo Knight is awful, but I like the fact that they were stacking resistances. With the Vaccinator, the Demo Man, if you use a shield, get the last um, resistances that you need to... Uh, because you get, you know, fire and explosive already, which makes you like a super tank with the thing. However, what Rob Zan forgot is that Demonite sucks and grenades are the best. Gra grenades are literally the bomb. Yes. Moving up, we're gonna see someone who makes a uh, spy video sometimes. I asked him for a demo, but he never sent me one. So. Sad face. 
Uh, this is gonna be nurse and cloven uh, spy guy. So it's gonna be healing a spy throughout the entire game. But I'm also gonna fast forward to the correct tick tick because apparently it didn't load right. Right. So we're just gonna fast forward here. There we go. So healing the spy, known as clown. And you might ask yourself, wow, isn't medic healing spy totally worthless? And then I answer, everything is good against a bad team. So they're just attacking. Of course, the sniper has a Razorback, which doesn't really save you from anything. So he just has that. And they, they've seen him. And he's going to go forward here. Oh, he gets forced. And then he kills two guys. And then I, they get sandwiched. So those guys would have died to their pyro, despite the, the spy not being there. Um, and then uh, shoots down the soldier, is probably pretty weak. Uh, clone also has the kunai, so he doesn't have that much health to begin with. That means two rockets would literally kill him. You know, like, like you shoot two rockets and he's dead. Right? Close by two rockets. A soldier, you have four rockets to do that. You can absolutely manage with any rocket launcher except the Liberty Launcher. And then just kind of hanging around here. No one's really pushing because this is where they re will come out. Just healing other teammates. And then the soldier decides to go for the medic. Which is obviously the better pick, but uh, should have had shotgun. The clone's doing some killing in the spawn. The enemy team completely unable to do anything to stop this unstoppable combo. And uh, I'm just going to keep on attacking. And just kind of hang out for a little bit. I get the stab on a spy. And then we're going to heal this uh, Mr. Atachika Watabata Chimada. That's the name that it said there. And uh, going to be killing this medic that didn't check his back and kill another medic, apparently, with the Uber. And flash this soldier. And then we run into Sniper's AFK. Stab him, yes. Pro kill there. And then we're going to go around the side. Are we going to get the kill on heavy? Yep. Uh, get the kill on him as well. A guy who hasn't really been able to change his username upon installing the game. He probably has the same name as his user on Steam. And then he runs into a pyro that uh, doesn't know how to air blast. And then they just kind of... Kind of just push it in the goal effortlessly. So, if, if you ask yourself, like, wow. <laughs> you can probably tell by my tone I'm, I'm not particularly impressed. And that is because Kroven could have been any class. Maybe not Sniper, but any other class. And they would have had the exact same result. <laughs> it literally didn't matter what he played. The enemy was so bad at anything is good against a bad team. So I have seen interesting scenarios where Ubering a spy has been used to crack down like insane sentry nests. Which would have been interesting to see, but that requires, you know, enemies to be good, and that's not that often. So this is Dandy Bellabutton, who also has one of those moments where I just wonder why you are... Uh, well, the medic is healing, and I think the medic has Uber. It's just like the HUD's bugged. Uh, I like how Enigma says in the chat, the counter to spy is just to walk. Yeah, just walk away. Get some space between you and the spy, and you'll be fine. So here we go. And... We are just gonna be fanning people with the Uber. Team Synergy! Teamwork. We're gonna mark every single one of you guys, and then my team... Just a, just a... Just a few holes in that strategy. Uh, you forgot the team part, so you had a buffed scout that was going to debuff the entire enemy team, and then your teammates would destroy them. However, the scout forgot that being in melee range to mark someone is really shit. And also the fact that your teammate didn't back you up uh, really hurt as well. So good job, uh, the synergy, teamwork. Wesker, what do you think? Teamwork. Thank you. All right. If you wanted us to ignore the gameplay, Dandy, why'd you send it? Anyway, this is actually one of the good, like one of the better ones that I was looking for. So this is Esteban Failsmore playing on the Mercenary Park map that we don't play that often because it's not that good and um, attacking standing on high ground shooting down 
So far, just that standard uh, soldier stuff. No, you can mark as many as you want, as far as I know, with the fan of war. It's uh, just answering people in the chat. Go to Dandy Bell Belly Button, see if she was memeing. Well, it's just another word of being bad these days. Oh, I wasn't bad. I was, uh, uh, I was memeing, obviously. Oh, God, don't you understand anything? Fuck your club. What should we do? Fortnite dances? So, right now, Esteban Felsmore is just standing back here. He has the battalion's backup, which gives you damage resist. Gets, he has it full charge, and now he's all up here. <gasps> if he didn't have the battalion's backup, he would have been super dead, and he kills this uh, other guy as well, and he's like, well, I just have to stand by and wait for someone to pick me up. Can I grab this? Yes, he grabs that, and then he just, I uh, can't really go on the point. It's better to wait and go with the battalion's backup. Oh, there we have a medic. Oh, a soldier friend! Mizar, are, are you my friend? Oh, you're right, you have a conch. Oh, oh! You Battalion's backup conjurer. Such a great combo. You get so much value out of this combination. So good, so good. Uh, there wasn't really that much of a resistance, but I do think any resistance would have been uh, completely destroyed. Now, yeah, he dies here. So let's just go back a little bit and, and look at that again, because this kind of combo works extremely well. And I'll just uh, I'll slow it down while I explain it. So here they go, they blow, it, blow the horns. So in this situation, they are both taking less damage, both from sentries. Uh, granted, it's only level 1, but if it was a level 3, it wouldn't make that much of a diff difference. And also the fact that you do take less damage and you heal, which basically means the heal effect is a lot stronger from the conch, because the enemies hurt you less and then you heal just the same. So, really strong. Like, the only thing that could top this was if you added in a buff banner as well. Then you'd have more damage, higher heal, and even higher sustain. And it would have just been so good. And it's like, if you can ever get like a triple banner push, the enemy just wipes. Like, it, it's basically like three ubers from soldiers. So so that was pretty good. I'm not sure it was, it was timed, or if it was like his friends like, dude, come over here, bring the conch. I don't know if that was the case. So this is Esteban fails more, and despite doing so well in the previous game, we're gonna see him do something else. So this is Mountain Lab, and he's gonna go over here, and he's gonna be like, you know what? We're not gonna participate in this um, in this first defense. We're just gonna hide in the corner. So he has an engineer. That's just working away. They're hiding in the corner. They're literally not doing shit. Their team's dying. And then... Oh, they're capping, they're capping. Also, uh, fuck noob team, fuck noob team, I'm out. I think that was the engineer, so no dispenser for us. So they're just gonna wait for the capture, just wait. Wait, hold the sandwich. Wait, okay, there we go. <gasps> Oh, you want some more? There's plenty more bullets where this thing came from. Oh, a pyro? What are you gonna do? Run up to me and die? Watch this demo man just fucking eat it. Ah, oh, the unstoppable combo. Look at how good this is. The pyro just dies. Yeah, such a bastion of a defense. Until you realize you're out of bullets. And then there's only a health back here and now you have a sandwich. And you're so screwed. And you're like, well, hmm, we almost have crits again, but no ammo. Come on, spy, give me the thing. Hmm. So that was one of the more basic teamwork synergies thing, like just medic and crits, but you can see it works. However, you need to have like a backup plan for when you like run out of bullets. Um, Pretty good. So the next one is something that is absolutely obnoxious to play against and super fun to use for us. So this is uh, E Defeat, and he is going to be what we call uh, a total bitch. 
and just work on this guy sentry. And what this other guy's gonna do is that he's gonna wrangle it. Like, he doesn't even care that his level 3 is being taken out. He's gonna wrangle this. Yeah. Good luck breaking this sentry, you dicks. Blue team stupids. Can't even get out of spawn. Look at this. He's just standing in repair forever. Probably, uh... Probably build my own sentry a bit back so we have a sentry covering a sentry. Like, if you can have a sentry covering a sentry, that's only better if you have a sentry covering the last sentry, and even better if you have a sentry covering that sentry. So we have EDF just working away here. I'm not sure what the blue team is doing, but they're struggling to get past this sentry because there's two engineers repairing it, and now we have a backup one back here. And this is something you can do as an engineer. Like, you have the main engineer, and you're like the bitch engineer that just kind of enables him. You're like the engineer enabler. And it's uh, obnoxious to deal with. It requires, it, like, f to break this, you need either to snipe the engineer that's wrangling, that's being a dumbass, which just happened, or you need, like, a spy or a bunch of sticks to go off. But if the wrangler engineer doesn't suck, it's going to be extremely hard to to beat. It's, it's really strong. But then again, you have double engineers focusing on one sentry, and that uh, gives, that opens up a lot of other space for the enemy as well, so you can go around the sentry. But if you're playing on a choke pointy map, well then you've just played yourself, sir. Ends in so the sentry's still up. <laughs> That's the spice face. That's how he feels, like, this sentry setup. What is this sentry setup? I cannot do anything. I'm just by. Uh -huh -huh. Right. So that was fairly potent setup. I mean, it's weak against that when you have a competent spy who just sees an opening and like takes care of the support engineer because then the rest will fall. So here we have E-Defeat once again. He's going to be doing a strategy, which is to light the Huntsman arrows on fire. Look at this. Oh, the teamwork. Teamwork. We can give all the snipers uh, the fire arrows, which is good. And um, that totally puts a lot of pressure on the uh, huntsman snipers to do well. Huntsman snipers to do well. That is something you hardly ever see. Uh, but we're going to see how, you know, we're just going to see what happens. I mean, I mean, they have uh, the bows. I mean, they, they probably know what they're doing, and the map's definitely right for it, except they're in the wrong spot. They should be on the ground, not shooting down, but uh, of course they're huntsman snipers. They know what they, they're doing, so we're just going to light them on fire and we're going to witness all the kills that they are not getting. If you watch the kill feed, there hasn't been a single huntsman kill of any kind. And then we need some more ammo, of course, because, you know, always lighting these guys on fire. It's really tough. So this is uh, you know, the Huntsman buffer strategy. Oh, one of them got a kill. All right, one of them got a kill. Nice. Well, we have a second kill. I mean, you're, you're bringing so much value buffing these uh, Huntsman snipers on um, this map. This guy uh, is down on the low ground. He's, uh, I mean, he gets it. Still just lighting on fire. Don't think we're, uh, we're still on that one kill though. They might, I mean, they might have gotten some assists. But, uh, oh man. Well, he died and oh, oh no. Ah, uh, a crit. Uh, uh, uh. Uh, yeah, people might have seen. I didn't watch the kill feed as religiously as you guys because I said there hasn't been a single kill. Everyone's like, yeah, but like the kill feed. That strategy worked great until the enemy just attacked. And then you died. Next up is Edefeed and Rob San. They're gonna do a bit of uh, Mad Milk uh, Pyro Shark action. So you also might notice that this is the new competitive format, 4v4 casual. That's when you can't fail a server because no one's playing, but here we have Rob San. It's going to be using the Neon Annihilator to annihilate some uh, some guys that uh, Mr. E Defeat throws in the milk. So there we go. He throws the milk. And BAM! There we go. Gets the crit kill. Nice. Of course, there's only like 
three other guys on the team, so it's kind of limited to what you can do. And of course, this combination with this amount of players goes about as well as you can expect. The blue team has absolutely no idea what they're doing. And Rob San finally decides that health pack is something he wants. But we have milk again. And do we have our next target? Where is the next target for us to destroy? Oh, oh. <gasps> Alright, you think. <laughs> Look at the soldier. So, guys, watch the sickest rocket jump you'll ever see. So, we throw the milk. He. Okay. And then, who will win? Rob San? Or. Soldier who doesn't know how to play. Jokes on you, it's actually a trick question. E, e defeat won, and then they won the round. Good. Don't you just love it when a plan comes together? Anyway, this is Pixel, and he's gonna be a bit of a minor Pybro, so there's not like a huge amount of uh, things. This is what it looks like when I'm reviewing demos, by the way. I have to look through everything. All right, there we go. Did I go through the right tick? Yes. So, defending on Gold Rush, payload version of Dust Bolt. He is denying some teammates, or the enemy. Um, not to, well, he's gonna be helping his teammate by denying that Uber. So there's just a couple of spies here, and he decides, well, time to repair this. And then he gets destroyed right after because the engineer wasn't nearby, but you know, it's a thought that counts. He is, and he's gonna help his engineer friend, and he also has a sentry here. So here's something interesting that he does he goes in front of the sentry, so he will absorb some damage. While well, the sentry will still shoot at the heavy. And I think that little maneuver there actually prevented the sentry from going down because the engineer was not repairing it. So it's, it's just like, that's a very minor thing you can do that will help out a lot. Just standing in front of buildings, absorbing some damage and then going back. It's also here ready to take care of it, but it seems like the engineer is repairing it now. It's all doing fine. Until he's not. But other than that, very subtle stuff you can do. Some people, like some people, might have already done it without even knowing because you're like so good at everything. So, I love it when a plan comes together, but I also love it when a plan goes totally sideways and up shit creek without a paddle. So, this is, of course, E to feed with his friend, and they're gonna be doing a crazy strategy. It's called. Ubering the engineer to run past all defenses strategy. And then they just kind of run past everything they're now behind enemy lines and use the medic to do so. So this is actually a bit of a different strategy. So you might think that, well, we better freaking start building something really quickly, but you know, let's just play grab ass around a little bit and we're gonna put up a teleporter here. And then we're gonna go back. And then we're just gonna go and build the sentry. And then a dispenser. And then we're just gonna keep building. Oh, oh, wait, something's shooting at us. That was a huntsman. Where's the huntsman? It'd be a bit scary. Oh, well, he's shooting through windows. If you stay clear of the windows, you should be fine. Working on the dispenser first. Yes, that's nice. Going for the sustain. This is long term. Oh, wait, here he is. All right, so we can just repair this so he doesn't destroy it. And, like, if a huntsman sniper misses his arrows, he's screwed. So you can just kill him at any time. So that wasn't really that scary. Nothing to get it worked up about. Okay, so we're working on this. All right, cool. So keep in mind, during all this time, the only medic on their team is healing the engineer that's behind enemy lines. All right, so we're just gonna move this down. And there's a pyro. So normally, if you're doing this kind of strategy, you're like, just put the sentry down and shoot the pyro. But you know, 
he defeated. He's like, no, nah, man, I got this. I got this. I got this down. So we're just going to put down the sentry here. And we're going to occupy the space. And then we're going to kill the pyro once he gets here. So we're going to get the pyro by literally running up to him and abandoning the sentry. But we did get the kill on the pyro. But we do have our rig. All right, all right. Let's see here. So two two going about. <laughs> they will never suspect it. Watch this genius. We're going to build a teleporter entrance. And then... Do you see that, guys? Do you see that the teleporter isn't there? Oh, and then he's like, well... Shit. Time to just run past, I guess, and... We can't get past. We, we can't get uh, and... Uh, we lost our entire rig, and... And then the demo just ends. Ah. Oh. Teleporter down, the engineer said, while the sound receptors of E-Defeat was like, does not respond, focus on being super plany, never fails. So, next up is E-Defeat once again, and this is of course on a map where you know there's going to be grand resistances from everyone you meet. It's sawmill. So we're doing the whip heavy, of course. Whipping heavy is a good strategy. Oh, the whack the brass beast. The whack the brass beast. So this is actually a pretty good one, is that? I'm not sure if that was an enemy spy or not. Yeah, it had to be an enemy spy because... No, no, it didn't. It could be. Whatever. Anyway, we are now... We're capping. This is King of the Hill version, of course. So we're going to go forward while nobody captures. It's important to have our team-oriented priorities in, in order. And there's the enemy medic, and we're shooting, going around, oh, going back. Uh, so then we decide to watch the point. No, we're not gonna watch the point. We are gonna go, oh, we, ah, we have resistances. Just keep in mind, this is a vanilla game where the brass piece has like stupid resistance, so we can add resistance to resistance, and also looking up to avoid headshots. P -p -p Pros. And then we also have the heavy who, or the soldier who whips us. And then we're taking the damage using the speed. We're getting shot by something we don't see. But we have bullet resist. Haha, -ha, snipers ain't got nothing on us. And this heavy, if he just kept shooting at the brass piece, the brass piece might have died. But no, this. Look at this team synergy. He has whip, he has speed boost, he has like damage resist, he has teammates. But here's something that always makes me mad. Let's just go back a couple of ticks. So here, E-Defeat has ideally a very good composition. He has a guy who's whipping him. He has a medic killing him. And I'm not sure if you saw, but there's also a friendly pyro around here somewhere. So we're just gonna kill this. And there, there comes the heavy jumping down. You can see there's a there's a gibbous pyro, right? So that means if that pyro spy checks, nothing can kill Edefeet. Nothing can touch him with this setup and configuration. But then he does what most pyros do, and that is, oh, I am going to stand and shoot with my shotgun this way. You can see the remains of him here. That, that's something I've seen a lot. Like, the pyro is in a position where it's like, all right, I'm just in a caretaker position, but I have a better idea. I'm gonna shoot flares for like a minute. Be be uh, so, if, if that was me, I would have been pretty mad because everybody had their roles. Like, the medic was protecting, the soldier was offering the speed boost, e defeat was doing the damage, and the pyro was like, I'll do the damage too. Look, I have a shotgun. Bang, bang. All right. So this is from one of the bounce mod sessions. You might remember this game if you were part of it. If not, join us in the next one. So here I just decided that, uh, well, who am I going to be on teams with? Well, it's going to be Dandy Bellybutton, who's the soldier down there. So 
I'm not gonna do anything super fast. I'm just gonna go where that soldier goes and shoot whatever that soldier does and help in any way possible. So we're going to push out. The map is cold front, by the way. And oh, there's a heavy there, but I'm super slow. Dandy is alive, but there's also a sentry. So I'm gonna be helping to shoot that. And then we're just gonna shoot this as well. You can see that I'm basically standing behind the person I'm trying to help, which allows me to pay attention to what they are doing. And then they just kind of leave me to die. And that was that. That's just a very basic example of how to like pro how to team up with someone. It doesn't have to be like super fancy. It just be like, ah, oh, I'm just gonna stand behind the guy I'm helping and just do whatever. Like it works great. The next one is something I like to do when I'm a sniper, and that is to utilize sentries because I would say. Snipers, our best friend is sentries, basically. So this is also the balance mod session, by the way. So we're just staying up here. There's an Uber. I can't do anything about that. So I decided to just watch it and maybe snipe the pyro as soon as it's over. Uh, let the pyro take care of himself. We do lose the sentry, though, and uh, things are not going great. So look at how I'm positioning myself. Uh, I think it's here. Let's see. So I'm just going to bother. Yes. So see the demo is actually being shot by a sentry that's down here. So my idea is just to stand in this area and take the aggro and be the attention but oh I'm just a helpless sniper, come get me. And you can see that he fell for it. He just literally walked in and got shot off. Um, and then I can just stand here and snipe this area. So as soon as this I can hear the sentry start to shoot, I know that there's someone close by. So I'm gonna kill the heavy, throw the Gerati that doesn't hit for some reason. Shoot the scout, get him as well. And you can see the sentry's still up. So I'm in a really good spot. I can just stay back here. I have teammates in front of me. This is great. So I'm synergizing with the sentry and the engineer probably doesn't even know it. Get a quick lucky scope on Coyote. Suck on that. And then... Oh no, the sentry's gone. Oh wait, we killed E-Defeed. The guy in the other demos. So that's something you can do as a sniper. It works with any kind of sentry and setup, like being bait, sort of. Fast forward a little bit. Kill the medic. Miss the demo. Like the demo isn't immediately any threat because my team seems to be able to hold their own. People are stealing my kills. Get the Sinex. So as long as you're aware of this as a sniper, you will get great results. Like, I'm the bait. And that is great. It's gonna go around the corner. Oop. Oh, another medic. Profi. And then... We eat it. Yes. Cool. So that is going to be the second to last demo. This is going to be the last demo as well. What? So this is a balance mod. Of course, you can see we have the speed pads, which are nice. And then uh, keep in mind that in this version, the healing heater mini crits people that's on fire. So it's basically like Andrade minus 15 damage. So I asked a couple of pyros to just shoot people. So this is a good combination as well. You can do this on the balance mod server. We're still checking if this is OP and broken as hell because people aren't always on fire, but with the pyro buffs, we see a lot more pyros. So like squirt shot, detonator, great for this sort of stuff. However, it runs out of bullets quite quickly. So keep that in mind. So. Down and we're gonna attack. And we're gonna win. But not while I'm alive. Cool. Nice. So that was the Team Synergies episode. But now that you guys know what I'm looking for, we're gonna do one more because this is great. So we can either do that on the balance mod or in the official game, but this time. I want it to be a bit more um, organic and a lot less coordinated than whatever. So what I want you to do for the next topic 
is we're gonna have like team synergies, but with randoms. So I would say any class that like isn't a medic, like we could leave medic out of this, but like you can play as any class and help any other class. Of course you can work with your teammates if you got some ideas for some crazy like triple buff banner push crazy shenanigans but i would like to see some more where you just find a person and you just help that person and you do what i did you just stand behind them and just pay attention doing whatever and we'll see how that works if it works organically or if it just looks like you're just doing your own thing but you're actually helping be sure to join the steam group and discord links are in descriptions for when we are doing balance mod sessions and stuff like that and now with my vacation over and me being back well, you can see some more of that more updates coming soon stay tuned and i will see you in the next one